Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Galaxy Tab 4 8.0. Now, uh, this is a simple process, but I always like to go over it. Uh, when we sign in, first you're going to just choose your, in uh, your language and then your accessibility if you do have any. Then you're going to go next and then you are going to connect to a Wi-Fi connection. It's always important that when you start your device for the first time, you are in a Wi-Fi area or else you won't uh, have your reset matching everything you backed up on your previous tablet. So you do want to make sure you start off in a good section and then you're going to put your password. And then it connects and then you go next. And from here it should auto update your time for you. And then you just click I understand and yes, or else you can't go any further. So yes, there's that. And now you get to the Gmail portion. Now to have an Android tablet, you do need to have a Gmail account or else you can't get apps or anything else. Uh, so if you clicked no, um, you really won't be able to buy anything from the app store or anything such as that. So you can hit yes and then sign in or hit no and then create one. Creating one is easy, you just make up whatever email you want to have. As long as it's not taken, you'll get it. And then finally, you just simply put in your password. And we're gonna go to next. And then as you can see, it will be restoring. It can take some time. Generally, it does this in the background while you continue everything you're doing. Put in your first name and last name. Or just first name if you want. And then you have this, which uh, this is a Samsung account sign in. Now, you don't have to have a Samsung, but if you do use Samsung apps such as um, the view, um, the viewer uh, for your Word documents app um, and a couple of other ones, you are going to want to create one. What I recommend doing is when you create one, you get to use whatever email you want and whatever password you want. So what I recommend is, is just use your Gmail and your password for your Gmail. That way you won't ever forget it and it'll be identical. I'm going to sign into my account. And hopefully I remember my password. And I was having trouble with this in the last one, so we'll see if it goes through. If it does not go through, then we'll simply skip this portion. Nope, so it failed again. So we will cancel and then skip for now. And then another uh, good part about getting this tablet is you do have a uh, 50 gigs of free Dropbox storage. What could you use the storage for? Well, to save your pictures, to save documents, to save anything you want really, and then you can very easily share it with someone else. Uh, this is really great for movies as movies you typically can't email but you can just send a link to the dropbox and have them uh, be able to download their movie on their device so we're going to hit skip for now and then you want to name this tablet so we're going to name it and why would you want to name it well it's so you can use it for bluetooth wi-fi director tethering essentially when you connect to it you're going to know uh, what this device is so i'm going to name mine And then we're going to name it tab four. And then eight. Eight point oh, and then done. And there we have it. All right, guys, so if you do have any questions about this tablet or want to see certain uh, features about it, please feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.